Today, we're going to be talking about an FPS game on wax. Yeah, seriously, an FPS game on wax. You can think of this like Call of Duty or Fortnite without building. But yes, there is a game, Forge Arena, that is in beta, and we're going to go over it today. Open some chests, get some cool weapon skins, give some out in a giveaway. Bunch of different stuff. If you are really good at FPS games, you could make some money on this. There's also some other ways you can do it by doing things like challenges in the game. You can there's four different tokens you can make. And the idea is try to spend less than you make in the games. So you can buy things like armor, which I definitely would recommend because without armor, it's you can get one shot, which is kind of a little too much, but it is what it is. And also, you can get weapons. Everything's pretty much purchased through the in-game currency, and that's the token that you are earning. And when you earn it, you can sell it, keep it, buy it, do whatever you need. And as you move up in the game, you pretty much dominate. So let's go through a few things here and give you an idea. I do have a bunch of crates to open. Let's just give you a taste of what that looks like by opening one. I think you really enjoy this game, and as always, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm a gamer, so make sure you do your own research. I definitely want to thank Forge.gg for sponsoring this video and sending some Huntsman chests. We're going to be giving out a lot of them on YouTube and Twitter, probably about 30 of them. So if you are interested, make sure you comment down below what you like about this game. Go into my Discord and go into the room Forge giveaway and put your YouTube name and the Wax Wallet and I will go ahead and pick a bunch and send them over. So you may win and all you need is one NFT to get started in this game. Once you have one NFT, you can go ahead and play. You do have to create an account when you do go ahead and join the website. So just keep that in mind and then you'll link your wallet. It'll see that you have the NFT and then you'll be able to get started because I haven't opened one yet and I have a lot. Okay, it's taking a while. <laughs> stop and stop and stop. Do I have to click? Do I have to click? I have to click, right? What do I do? Here's what I got. I got a uncommon grenade. Let's do one more and then we will move on to some other stuff. Open. Let's open another one. Let's go to open and see what we get. Hopefully this time the spin stops. <laughs> I think it kind of got looped up. It does look like it's going slower and slower. I do have a lot of crates and I will be giving some away. If you do win, you do have to open it through the playforge.gg store. That's where you open the crates. You can't open them on Atomic Hub, unfortunately. You have to do it through here. Let me just look to see if it's in my inventory. <laughs> yeah, it's already on my inventory. I think they're having a little bit of problems with the scroller, so I'm not going to go through and open too many chests because it looks like it's not working really well right now. And I said this game is in beta, so there are some things still being worked out. However, the game itself I did play. It's very responsive. It's very smooth. It's like it's a finished game, basically. I Just one thing I said, like, you do need to buy armor in the game or you're going to get crushed. Here is the website, playforge.gg. And it will go over things and highlight. It is play to earn. There is esports going on. If you click on the esports, you can see they announced a one million dollar prize pool. So if you think you're this is not going to be something crazy, you're wrong because one million dollar prize pool is a lot. It is built on wax. It is going to be the first FPS game that I'm aware of. You're going to have four different coins bounty. Players will earn bounty credits by completing daily challenges, missions, and by completing specific objectives in the game. Let's be bounty. Soul is players will earn soul credits by accumulating kills in the game. So if you are a fragger, soul is going to be great for you. Scrap players will earn scrap credits by gameplay time and are compensated for their time spent in the arena. The longer you play, the more scrap you get. 
and spark purchase from the game launcher, fueling the NFT generator and NFT store. So you can go ahead and create your own unique skins in this game by going through and getting the right amount of tokens, and then you can have something that no one else has. You can also get, like I said, out of those chests. They have a lot of different ones. They have the full patches, and they do have a light paper, which I will also link. This does kind of have like two different aspects because there is an nft generator and right now it's generation zero so it's the early stuff that's usually really good so keep that in mind you can go ahead and get the ascendable capsules these are going to be more like here's an idea of what it looks like that is the uh really good one <laughs> There's five rarities, common, uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary. Those are currently out right now to purchase. And here is the ratios of what you'll get in each chest. And then they have the weapon NFT rarities to give you an idea. So there are some that are really hard to get. The knife is really hard. And so is the camera bit ascendance. I'm just gonna kind of skim through this because I really wanted to show you like the game itself. Instead of just showing you what's going on in the white paper, I will link it down below. The main things to know is do well, earn coins, and you can make something if you are not spending more than you are receiving. If you win a game, you will get extra. If you lose a game you will get less or none but after a while if you lose too many times you will start getting something just because they want you to catch up and get back into the game so here's where you could set the skins you have uh we have a frag grenade so we're gonna go ahead and equip that one what else did we have shotgun uncommon and we'll equip that one Awesome, so we should be good to go. We're gonna go and click on servers and see who's playing. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like anyone's in the death matches. This is still early times. I can go in and show you what it is. There is also another mode you can play within Discord. You just have to verify and then you get into teams, two teams of five. I think right now to get it going, I really need some players. All right, here we go. I had to switch because it, it only opens in my left monitor, unfortunately. So you can go through here and if I hit B, I'll go in and I'll be able to see what I can purchase. And you just purchase what you need. So I'm not going to buy anything right now because it doesn't look like there's anyone in the match, but you can get SMG, sniper, shotgun, rifle, pistol. And you can add sights, mags, and I'll undo this. But this is your shields you can buy. Uh, if I did have someone here, I would fight. So you can go ahead and hit uh, tab, and it'll show you everyone that's in there and how much they have and how they're doing. But you can see it's pretty good with as far as being reactive and everything. I think the other games are probably more popular. It's it stinks they don't have enough people to keep running death matches. But I think there's two maps right now. And like I said, I did get a lot of weapon skins, so I'll be giving them out on here of course i'm not a financial advisor but you do also need an nft to play the game having one chest will be enough to get you into the game and then it will give you a starting amount like you saw so you'll be able to get moving with the games and that's that it kicked me out because there's no one in there so unfortunately i can't show you what's going on right now i did play the other day for a little while and I did okay, but then I started getting frustrated because I was getting one shot a lot and I didn't notice that you had to buy armor then, but now I know. So if you do play, make sure you buy armor. Usually how armor works is if you buy it in deathmatch, you're going to have it for that whole round, like all of the rounds until someone one team gets 100 kills. If you do it in the other game, 
if you survive to the end, you won't have to buy it. But if you die at the end, then you have to purchase it for the next round. But even if you lose and you survive, you don't have to purchase it the next round. So that's nice. As I mentioned, here are some play modes. I'll throw up a video real quick and just kind of mute it. This just gives you a different idea of how it's running. I actually think the graphics look even better than this. So it just might be a little whoever recorded. I don't think recorded it at a very high level. But when I play it, it's a lot smoother than that. And there you go. You just go through buy stuff. And you can see the different wraps they have. But yeah, there are some people that are just one shotting me like crazy. <laughs> I got a few limbs, but it was nothing that I could pull clips out of because it wasn't enough. <laughs> it was mainly me just dying. But that's usually how FPS games are when you first start until you kind of get familiar with it. And unfortunately, my teammates left and then it was just me versus two and I just couldn't keep going. <laughs> if they get more people in here, which I, you know, they're trying to do with advertising, I think we'll get a better idea with what's going on. I definitely do want to thank Forge for sponsoring this video and sending over a bunch of Huntsman crates for us. So I will be giving some away. Probably do like 20 and then 10 on Twitter or something like that. So make sure you're following me on Twitter as well at Kevin Smack. And I'll definitely put some there too. But yeah, you can see how the economy is working and how he's buying and selling things in the game. The skins are pretty sick, especially when you get like a one of one. I think that's awesome. There's also different types of like wear when you buy the skin. Like it might be a little more worn out. It might be fresh. You know, there are different rankings for that as well. So you could get a really awesome skin and it's really looking fresh or you could get one that's worn a bit. And it just adds a little more character to the weapon because it just looks like the weapon was used more. And this is deathmatch here where it's... You do get like a frag grenade that you could throw and smoke grenade. There we go. That gives you a good idea and it gives you what's going on with it right now. There's a lot more in the white paper for you to check out. I'll link it down below. And if you have any questions, definitely let them know in the Discord and they should be able to help you out. I think this is looking really nice. And when they do go ahead and get more people up, I think it'll be fun to play. And I am very good at Fortnite, I think. So I think I'd be pretty good at this after playing like an hour or two. But I do need the lobbies, you know, to get going. And if you are all interested, it's pretty much free once you get the NFT to play and then you just kind of go that route. And as always, thanks for watching.